Anybody for barbecue chicken? Oh, I'm afraid we're out of charcoal, honey. Oh, who needs charcoal? That's what these letters are for. Now, if I can just find that music box, we'll have us a big old file. Blanche, what are you doing? Well, I certainly can't let Mama Watkins have these things. It'd be just like giving my consent to what happened. For my sake and my mama's, I cannot do that. Blanche, your father obviously loved this woman. You loved this woman. I think you'll feel a lot better if you talk to her. All right, I'll talk to her, but I can't promise anything else. Thank you for coming. I'm glad you called. Please, sit down. Well, this has been very difficult for me, but I want you to know I forgive you. I don't need your forgiveness. I mean, I'm not ashamed of anything I've done. Blanche, your father and I were in love. We didn't mean for it to happen, but it did. Now, in another time and place, we would have been married. But at that time in the South, it wasn't an option. And it wasn't only physical either. You just don't go through what Curtis and I went through just for sex. Although that was reason enough. <laughs> Blanche, did I shock you? Yes, I've never heard anybody call Big Daddy by his first name before. <laughs> he was the only man I ever loved. And now he's gone. I'd like to have the music box. No. Fine. Oh, yeah, that's right. Walk out, just like the last time. What are you talking about? You didn't even say goodbye. I woke up one morning and you were gone. I loved you. I spent the next few years wondering what I'd done, what, it, what I'd said to make you leave me. So that's what this is all about. Honey, you didn't do anything wrong. I had to leave that night because your mother found out about your father and me. Well, you don't love a little girl for 10 years and then just walk out of her life. Oh, face it, you didn't care. Did you or did you not wear your very first formal white with pink trim to the junior prom? And did you not come home wearing a football jersey? It was dark in that hayloft. Your father and I spent many an hour trying to figure out what to do with you. You drove that man to distraction. Uh, well, all right, maybe you talked about me, but that's not the same thing as being there. I know that. I remember a wedding reception early in June when the most beautiful bride I'd ever seen danced with her equally handsome father. You were there? The song was Tennessee Waltz, and you asked the band to play it twice so you could dance with your dad as long as possible. I stood in the back with the caterers so no one would notice. You don't know how much I wanted to hug you. I just had to see my dumpling on her wedding day. Here. I think Big Daddy would want you... I want you to have this. Blanche, I don't know what to say. <laughs> this isn't the right music box. <laughs> That's the only music box there is. The music box I gave your father was black enamel and played Stardust. <laughs> the theme from Bonanza. Well then, I guess we went through all this for nothing. I wouldn't say for nothing. Then, who the hell gave him this music box? <laughs>